G'day guys, welcome back to the podcast here. Lakeland Podcast, first step. Exciting boys, isn't it? Come on boys, get around us. First, got the first guest on the show, Bondi Ripper. Not not really a Lakers player, but um G'day. thought we better give him a give him a crack. Give him a shout out. So Arch, um what's the, what's your involvement with the club, mate, with the Lakers? Yeah, so myself Myself and Logan, we have been at club for eight years, is it? Yeah. Yeah, eight years, yep. So we've been here for eight years. Um, and then we also have been at uh, Windrow Cricket Club for eight years as well. So, yeah, good, both real good clubs, good family clubs. You know, everyone, everyone does their bit, helps out around the club. So, yeah, that's about it. Exciting. Bondi, not really, not really a... Lake is fire, mate. Bit lucky to be getting on the on the potty, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> North, hey, rivalry, cross the road. Oh mate. Yeah. Better come out, Lakers, <laughs> get a run around, mate. Oh, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, yeah, so oh, what we're trying to do with the potty here. Really just fill in some time while we're in lockdown, but hopefully continue it outside lockdown. Might get like yep, get a few AFL players, VFL players, got Jakey Loman coming on. Next step, hopefully come Maribar. out next week or the week Maribar. after. A boy from Maribor. Little boy from Maribor, that's it. Yeah, man. VFL. Yeah, VFL. Yeah. Ex- North Melbourne VFL player. So, boys, what are the okay. what are the thoughts on the AFL at the minute, mate? What are the thoughts? Yeah, it is really a different yeah. environment. All yeah, the families I, I in the hubs. Know. Like, the ladder. The ladder this year is a yeah. bit, bit different, isn't it? Like, you wouldn't expect Port... After so long, like I'm a Port Port uh, fan, so I, I don't mind it. But you would you yeah. don't always, I guess, you don't really see Port on top of the ladder that much. But no, they're going yeah. alright. I think the young players are going alright. So a few young guns yeah. this year. Matty Rio, one of them. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty. Unfortunately, did his shoulder though. Connor, Connor, Connor Rosalie is really, really yeah, playing Connor Rosalie's a good one. Zachy Butters, he stepped Butters. up. Yeah. But, yeah, he's a star of um, Zachy Butters. Max. Dan Butler, past Dan Lakers boy. He's in all Australian form this year. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. If and he doesn't get all Australian, we'll be disappointed. Melbourne, though. Melbourne. This is what I'm surprised yeah. at. Melbourne, top eight. Melbourne Chris in the top Matraka. eight. And he's, they're one game short as well. He's very. He's. Chris Matraka, yeah, bull. Yeah, Matraka. Yeah, he's, he's having a good year, isn't he? Yeah, he really is. Carlton aren't going bad. Essendon aren't going as good as we'd like. We're, outside we're struggling. The yeah, Adelaide throws. Yeah, no, Adelaide's, Adelaide's last win, 3rd of August last year, boys. Long time ago. Jeez Louise, man. Who are the Brownlow yeah, predictions, boys? Oh. Yeah. You go. oh, I'm thinking probably Lockie Neal, maybe. He's he's really... Yeah, Lockie Neal, yeah. Good, yeah. Season, good season. Yeah, he has. What yeah. about you, Muzz? Yeah, I... Yeah, what, I don't what are know. Your thoughts? I think... Yeah, Lockie Neal is good. Um, who else is good? I think Christian Matraka has been, been good. But he's probably... Yeah, he's been in great form. If this makes sense, he's not been like that consistent. He's been consistent, but he hasn't been unbelievably consistent. Where Lockie Neal seems to be yeah. quite consistent for the and Lions. The um, yeah. And Travis Boak, I reckon, is good. But he's more of an in and under player, so I don't reckon he'll get as much votes. Yeah. But no... Nah, Look, just because the umpires don't seem to like seeing that much outside the ball and do unreal stuff, but he he's in there and gets all the hands out. I reckon, I reckon, Lockie Neal's got it this year. I reckon he's he's playing well, playing some yeah. good footy. And yeah. What about you, Luke? Me? Oh, don't know, Bondi. To be honest with you, it's a bit of a abnormal year. Real I had Maddie Real up there actually at the start, and then yeah, he poor was, bloke. He was something special. Yeah, poor bastard. Yeah, Logue, so who do you think is a contender for Brownlow this year? Jeez, good question. Did have Matty Real up there. Probably with you, to be honest. But, Lockie Neal, probably. Did have Cripper, but he's been a bit quiet, yeah. getting, getting tagged every week nearly. Yeah. But Gold Coast, they've really... Gold Coast, since Matty Real got injured, they've actually really dropped off. Actually, yeah. yeah. They haven't been there. as bad as I thought they were going to be, though. Like, I, I th- yeah. thought, oh, no, they're going to go to... But they've put up a few, like... 
Oh, it's good games, like... Yeah. Oh, yeah, great like game. They're going yeah, good for the young players, I'll tell you. They'll be good in about three or four years when yeah. they're yeah. a bit mature. Bright future, actually. So, boys, yeah. who's Premiership contenders? Oh, I don't know. Like, I want to say my team fought, but I don't, I don't know about last week's game against Geelong. You know, got pumped. Pumped, yeah. Don't know what happened there. Pretty easy. Like... Tom, Tom Hawkins, sorry. He, he played yeah. very well. 204 supercoach points, Tommy Hawkins. Good, Good work man. to have him in your team. I'm lucky not to have him. Never had him on my team, but that's all right. Um, but, yeah, in my opinion, I reckon say they're going to be Port or Geelong. What about you, Bondi? Uh, probably Port, Brisbane or St Kilda because they're like... They've got yeah. pretty much all just kind of stayed in the top, like, five around there, so they've really just... Yeah, they've been pretty consistent, yeah. haven't they? Legs, you go. Oh, I'm putting it up there for Brisbane, but Richmond aren't looking too bad, but... Oh, God, I hate Richmond. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's talk about the draw between the Dons last week and the Gold Coast Suns. Oh, yeah, right. What's going through your head, yeah. likes, knowing, knowing you're a, an, a Dons supporter, what was going through your head? Mate... Oh, I'm just disappointed in the effort for the Dons the last few weeks, to be honest with you. Last weekend, yeah, last weekend got pumped. Just, we need to keep yeah. forward again. Yeah. Everyone's saying Joe Danaher, but oh, I reckon he's given up on the Dons, to be honest with you. Max King, he's been very good, hasn't yeah. he? Yep. Yes, yeah, very. He's just, he's proven that he, he, he can be a good key forward at his age. He, he'll, be, he'll be a star when he's older, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. Good first year since he did his knee last year. Yeah. Yeah, that was unlucky last year, actually. Yeah, unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I reckon he could have had a crack at uh, Rising Stars. All right, we've got, we've got one more topic I reckon to talk about, and that's a Jack Nins goal after the siren against Frio. Oh. A lot of controversy. Oh, controversy on that one, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what was happening there. It was, it was messed up. Like, I didn't know like, how Sam Doherty, he kind of ran in, he... He got it off. He got it quickly, but then he kicked it out in the fall. Yeah. Bit of a late, bump. bit of a late bumper. Maybe, maybe a little bit yeah, of stage in there, but uh But no, and then and then Jackie Nunes, so he delivered the goods yeah. for the Blues. Talk about like staging. This. What about what are your thoughts on boys? Few, fair few bit of staging fines and like soft free kicks yeah. around in the AFL. Yeah. And holding the balls. That's oh, a big oh, controversial Lynch. topic at the minute. Yeah, I, I, I don't what mind do you think about him? What about Callum Ward free against Essendon? Two weeks back, I reckon that one was. Yeah. Sealed the game. Yeah, mate. No, nah, I wasn't happy about that one, yeah. I reckon. Contact was there, but um, yeah. a few years ago, that would have been yeah. uh, below the knees, and McKernan would have got the free. Yeah. Yeah, Arthur yeah. did that a lot. Like, and I like how the, um, like how the AFL are bringing into that, that rule, that, like, no, the staging and stuff. Like, that was ridiculous how he just staged, I reckon. And, Tom know, Pabley, just, one of the greats yeah. at staging. Yeah. Tom Pabley, that was... Oh, yeah. Oh, just... He should never be on it's Broadway. It's not really needed. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. mate. He, he is something else, that bloke, isn't he? Rightio, lads. That should wrap it up for the Lakeland podcast for this episode. So, thanks, guys. Our Instagram, if you want to if you want to follow it, is Lakeland underscore podcast. Um, so, and the TikTok is also Lakeland underscore podcast. Then the YouTube and SoundCloud is uh, Lakeland Podcast. And if you have any inquiries about business, whatever, um, lakeland.podcast at gmail.com. As well as you can DM us on Instagram if you're, you know, wondering anything or, you know, whatever. And leave in the comments who you want us to, I guess, have a chat with. Um, But, yeah, thanks, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and, yeah. Say later, boys.